What is up, everybody? It is the Yamani Mafu here, and today, coming to you live from a new episode of Moons with the Mafu. This time, we are talking about everybody's favorite Decepticon communicator. That's right, Soundwave. I thought, you know, in honor of Starscream's ass kicking from a Transformers number seven, why not? So let's dig into the history of this toy and some cool features about it. So let's start off with the G1 toy. Soundwave here came out in 1984, but in Japan, under the Micro Change line, as I said in my Megatron video, Micro Change was a toy line made by Takara, so so this toy could be reissued if they so please. Um, took everyday objects like guns, tape recorders, cassettes, turned them into transforming robots. So Soundwave wasn't called Soundwave there; he was called Cassette Man. Yeah, cool name. And he came with some of his original accessories, like his guns here, and actually headphones, and Rumble, who didn't really have a name then. But you get three others, um, cassettes for Cassette Man here, or Soundwave, such as Laserbeak, or Frenzy, or Ravage, but no Buzzsaw, because Buzzsaw wasn't made there. But so when Hasbro bought them over, they thought, let's give, instead of Cassette Man, let's name it Soundwave. So they took off the uh, Cassette Man logo, which was right here, and they called it Soundwave. And he came with Buzzsaw here, who, this is a reissue, and and uh, you can tell because of the gold. I mean, on the Vintage Toy, it was a little lighter on the gold. This one is a little darker on the gold. And he was a new character like he wasn't so they literally took this laser beak and just painted him gold and gave him some gold stickers anyway but you can get the um the sets here in a two pack in two packs so frenzy came with laser beak and rumble came with ravage so that's how you got the full 84 crew and so let's talk about the cassettes first and then we'll get into the sound waves here so we're gonna do rumble and as you can see on the reissue uh the vintage one has a more lighter red and um the reissue has somewhat of a darker now rumble frenzy i'm not going to get into that whole thing but cartoon this one was called frenzy and the purple one was was rumble so you know buzz saw here as i just said i just compared them um, I'm actually going to take out the guns. What's really cool about this is that Buzzsaw and Laser Beak both came with the same gun. So if you lost Buzz Buzzsaw's guns, then then you could replace them if you lost any. And so you can tell on this reissue Laser Beak here on the red. Now the vintage one, it's a little more darker as as you can see, while the uh, I should, I, should, I should say lighter, excuse me. And the reissue one looks to be a little more darker. So that's how you can tell one way is by the different shades of the color of the robot. And now, let's talk about, because I, I don't have a rumble, I mean, excuse me, frenzy on the table with me. I thought, just grab a couple of examples. So let's talk about Soundwave now. Here's Soundwave. I mean, he looks something like the cartoon because of the color scheme a little bit. Um, of course, the chest plate. But, you know, his head looks like the Decepticon symbol, which is cool. And um, so here, here are the uh, two sound waves. Now, the difference between this is, is obviously the color. Now, the G1 toy is a more lighter blue because in his first cartoon slash commercial appearance, he was a, a really light blue. But here, it's sort of a lighter blue, while this one's a really dark blue, as, as you can see. And the eyes here, it's a little more of a light orange on the vintage, while, while here it's a bright yellow. And the uh, shoulder, uh, so the kneecaps, like the kneecap stickers here, have a little blue outline on them, while the vintage toy doesn't. It, it had a lighter blue on the vintage, this one has a darker blue as you can see there and some of the uh, shoulder decals are kind of a little darker here so so here's the the g1 
it has a more lighter on the shoulder while here it has a little more of a darker as uh, you can see and of course the whole body here is a little lighter and the legs are darker but you know that's a this is one of my favorite transformers of all time now actually some some people don't even know this but in japan in 1988 in the japanese version of the transformers cartoon soundwave and blaster were were rivals they had a final confrontation both of them ended up dying unfortunately but uh, thankfully both of them were revived so galvatron revived soundwave and he and he came out with a new color scheme he and he was black and red had a new name sound blaster and in japan since you know takara owned micro change they could reissue Soundwave, and they did in his new black and red color scheme. And so, instead of just holding one cassette, because on the the vintage store you can only hold one cassette, and it wasn't that as fun. With this, because you can switch out cassettes if you want to, but with the Sound Blaster toy in uh, Japan, you could hold two, two cassettes. That is awesome. I would personally like to own that version. Because it's just so awesome. Oh, being able to hold two cassettes, to me, for a Soundwave or Sound Blaster, whichever that you prefer, is really cool if you ask me. So, of course, there are differences between the cartoon and the toy line. But, for some, but just for me, Soundwave is one of the few G1 Transformers that actually looks like the cartoon. I mean, his guns are cool, and he came with three lasers or laser pointers I don't know. as he did in, in the cartoon he came with three as you can see here um and you could fit these in both cannons if you wanted to see you can hold them two huh, dropped it <laughs> but you know he, he you could have him pointing both of these and pulling double duty so that you know the autobots don't want to mess with sound wave because he's a he he is a spy Here's, here's the instruction manual. Look at that classic artwork. I said it many times, and it is very true. G1 artwork is the best. If you go in here, let me just look at this. Look at this transformation. Those are the accessories, but just here. Just look at that. Look at that. And it says right up here, I don't know if you can see that. Three robot points. That's a lot. And yeah. So, I'm 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 the Mighty Mafu. Click that sub if you like what you've seen. Click that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget, here at Most Wanted Comics, we are always buying toy collections. So uh, don't be afraid to bring in your vintage or modern toys to us, and we we'll, and we will be happy to give you a, a fair price for that. I am the Mighty Mafu, and I'll see you all on the next one.